Hi, this is Nicole Young. I'm going to show you how you can add some drama to your photos in just a few simple steps. This is a photo I took of my husband last year. He loves to smoke cigars, and so every once in a while, I try and follow him outside and get some great pictures. And I came up with this one, and it ended up being one of my favorite photos that I've taken. I think this photo could use a little bit more, maybe a little bit of contrast, something to make it pop. So I'm going to show you how you can achieve that. Like I said, it's a really simple process, just a few steps. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add a black and white layer adjustment. You can do that two ways. You can do it by going down to the layers panel and going to black and white, or if you have Photoshop CS4, you can go down to the adjustments panel and just click on this. I'm gonna go ahead and try it in the auto mode and see what that does. That's pretty much the effect I'm looking for. I don't want it to be too washed out, like having the skin tone too white or too dark. I kind of am looking for an overall, just a neutral gray. So I'm gonna go ahead and click auto again and keep it like that. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is change the blend mode. And we do that by going to the layers panel and going up here and then just clicking on the one we want. For this example, I wanna use overlay and immediately we see a really great effect. If I toggle it on and off, you can see how it increased the contrast and made it pop just a little bit more. Now, if you wanna enhance it even more, all you have to do is take the layer, the adjustment layer, and then drag it down to the new layer icon and bam, look at that. We have an amazing high contrast, kind of washed out look. It's exactly what I was going for. This is one of my favorite effects to do with my photos, and I hope that you find it useful as well. To view more of my work, please visit my portfolio at istockphoto.com slash Nicole Please feel free to comment on this and other posts at twipphoto.com.